like Estes Majectus, F-15. These things never go unstable. Not. Pad D-2, heads up, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Like you said, they never go unstable. And, um, is that what that says? And it's going to fly on an M, as in lots of money, mucho money, 1297. It weighs 26 pounds, uh, which is what Ted's, uh, Tim's head weighs. He's got a tracker. He's got he's got everything you'd expect him to have on it. He's also got next door on pad 66 Adrian Butler from Malta, Illinois, flying and also a wild man five inch Lance. I, I think it's lasagna. 23 pound rocket. It's skinnier. He's going to fly it on Swindler L1000 albino um, propellant. Burn time is three seconds. Total impulse 3,000 newtons. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's put these two rockets up. Skies are clear. Everybody's got clean underwear. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Hey, what did I tell you? Who was going to win? Past life. Uh, Sharon's rocket uh, is flying on an N as a Nancy, 2114. It's a Don Alexander white propellant. It's got two altimeters on board, deploying it made at 1,100 feet. Good luck, Sharon. This should be awesome. So the Grand Optimist, pad E2N, 2114, white motor. Well, I mean, I haven't tried pulling it out, but I... All right, here we go with Sharon Pad 82. We're going to launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Yo, boom. Big boom. Bing, bada, boom. Fire out at Pad 82. Oh. Grains are burning on the pad. Yep, she's not all right, we'll stand down at the waist. Two, one, light, light, gas up, yes. Or no. We're going in. Oh, 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 oh. Lowest and nearest the pad. I'm sorry. That was an L3 attempt. Hopefully it is salvageable. I think it's okay, but give it a second to make sure nothing happens out there. Troy, so sorry. Hey, Coop. That's pretty, but that's not what we wanted. That is pretty. All you photographers need to take that shot. Oh uh, boy, alright, we're going to stand down while we uh, think about fire suppression. So, fire suppression crew, your show time for you. Do one launch. She's going to come out at 600 feet. Or not. I'm guessing not. Yeah. Okay, pad 43. going to find a J346. Uh, this is a research motor. It's got 1,251 newton seconds, burns for three and a half seconds. My favorite propellant, the Olay. And uh, if, folks, if you've not seen the spider fly, you're going to like this. It's really cool. Spiders going like flying off the of pad 58 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, watch. Oops. You did that last year. Well, you did this. Flying those all the time. Alright, he's back there. John, if you're sitting way back there, should I be nervous? Clifton has a rocket on a pad 67. Oh, this is John. Uh, if you didn't know, John's been making a lot of really cool motors for a lot of people. So it works. So thank you, John. I'm in the Midwest. Sharing the motor that's with everybody. Yeah. All right, John's from Smyrna, Georgia. And he's got a rocket he calls Blame It on Harry, Georgia Spider. So something to do with Harry Spears, maybe, and some kind of spider or something. It's a 16 pound rocket on the M1420. It's a 5600 newton second. 
heard you. He 5, stopped talking. 5600 Newton second motor. Uh, it's a Mitchell class formula, chest formula. I don't know if it's a giant. It's huge. It's going to be cool, regardless. It's got a G Wiz on board uh, for Apogee deployment. Pad 67 should be exciting. Is that a spool? Oh, spider. Okay. All right, Pad 67. Good luck, John. Here we go. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get out of here. to an Aerotech Amazon Mike 750. Uh, so this will be a really great flight. It's got onboard video, GPS telemetry, radio tracker, altimeter deploy with the main coming out at 800 feet. We'll so, Grippos are ready oh, yeah. to go. We are ready to go. Out on Buster. You ready to go, Isaac? All right, we are ready to go out here. We're gonna give it a five count in five, four, three, two, one, launch. have a parachute on a sustainer. Okay. It's John. It's a NADCOW rocket weighs 2.7 pounds flying on the CTI H133 blue motor. Going up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, speed out. That's not good. No shoot. Well, shoot. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Sorry about that. I blame Tim the Beacus because he pushes the button. Taylor Jesse, all the way from Kansas City, Missouri, going to fly the Punisher 4. It's a wild man kit. It's got uh, whips and chains. Why does that go? Uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chains excite me, so knock me down and tie me up and show me that you like me. That's what Taylor's written on the flight card. It, <clears throat> as far as you know, it's a wild man kid, weighs 15 pounds, gonna fly on an M 3700. Hello, 15 pound rocket M3700. Watch fast, Taylor Jesse, pad 64 in five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, that's fast. Yep, we got a fire at the 60s pads. From Ames, Iowa, flying a rocket named Harv. It's a scratch built kit. It weighs 72 pounds. This one is going up on an O3400. That's right, folks, an O3400. So everybody kind of take a look at this one. This was one of the best flights I, we're going to see out here. It's, uh, main is at 1500. And if he's ready, we are going in five. Four, three, two, one. Smoke, smoke, fire. A little too much wiggle in that one. Looks like we got separation, folks. You know it. It's a wild man rocket on a CTI J330. Uh, and he's got a Jolly Rancher in there set at 700 feet. Gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Oh, I don't know. Oh, C6, sorry. I couldn't see the six sign. It blended in with the corn. Yeah, he put his igniter in. All right, Taylor Jesse, all the way from Kansas City, is flying his wet banana. It's scratch built. He says it's a heads up rocket. So if Taylor says it's a heads up rocket, I would pay attention. Uh, on an H148, oh, it's got rear ejection. Of course, it's a heads up rocket. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Yep. Might need a little more weight in the nose cone. Case by Wildman on a K630 Blue. Didn't we do this already? Oh, third time's the charm. Five, four, three, two, one. 
It was a sign. No, he's going out to put out the fire. Steve, where is my four-wheeler? Up on a CTI J330. Is the fire crew ready? <laughs> Just saying. All right, here we go, Dennis. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, look at that. They don't all blow up. And there's another one coming. That's Dan. Oh, 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 oh! It's a wild man. It'll be all right. Away from Nelsville. It's flying as Amram 120 by PML. It's got a Loki motor in it. Uh, dual deploy. It's going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. John has named this the big stupid rocket, but that's not what it's called. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a breakdown on this earlier. This rocket has been built in Wisconsin, Illinois, Georgia, uh, and that's about it. It, it is a big rocket. Uh, the fins are over 70 inches tall. Just the fins alone are 70 inches tall. Made out of foam, half-inch foam core with carbon fiber on the outside, done by Eric Kainberg. Uh The body tubes were uh, PML phenolic that we got from Locke, and then they were sent down to John Clifton just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, who fiberglassed the PML phenolic body tubes. Uh, then it all got sent back to me. I assembled the booster. Brent Lilsand did the altimeter base, so if the electronics don't work, it's all Brent's fault. Sorry, Brent. <laughs> He'll never volunteer to do that again. Uh, Aerotech made demo motors for me. I really like the L1256 three grain super white load. And I said, you guys really ought to do that in a four grain. If you do it, I gotta, I'll got i build you a rocket around it. And so there's six of those in there. Six M2225s. If you were here first thing this morning, John Williams flew a four inch rocket on one of those and it just disappeared, man. It teleported. Uh, Chuck Swindler built me a nice four inch motor in the middle. Uh, Chuck helped Actually, Chuck built all the motors. Uh, Clifton assembled it all. I painted the bottom. John painted the top. Uh, and a whole bunch of friends put it out on a pad out there. Guys, thank you all for all of your help. This is to celebrate Midwest Power 20. We did this at Midwest po Most of the early Midwest Powers. We Yeah, the big one way out there is seven motors in it. It's a H2 maybe. And, and I think it's 25, 26 feet. All right, here we go. It's going to go five, four, three, two, one. Uh, oh my. Well, that is not what's supposed to happen. But. Brent did his job. Uh-oh. Right row. No, I don't think those are the fence fluttering down there, Eric. PML Callisto. This is our level two cert attempt uh, on a J425. It's going in five, four, three, two, one. Well, that did not sound like a level two cert. Well, it's got to come down fast because the parachute is floating away. Yeah, heads up out there, Justin. And it's, it's clear. Uh, Jacob Chesney from Woodridge, I-357. This is not a level two start attempt. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. What happened? Heads up out there somewhere.